We're really used to seeing off-duty Brazilian cops handle their business on the channel. Today, a couple of off-duty New York cops handling their business. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here on the Active Self Protection Channel. I'm grateful that you're here. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the Bronx. This is not a paid endorsement, but I am a brand ambassador for Heckler & Koch for a reason. HK firearms are incredibly high quality and when it's time to step up out of the entry tier, they're the only ones I recommend. You carry a gun just in case, shouldn't it be an HK just in case? Guy in the bottom left is just kind of a run of the mill punk. The two other guys that we can see on camera here, he doesn't know it, but they're both off duty cops. And so watch what happens here as he is going to just pull and show a gun. It's a, a little 22 caliber revolver that he just pulls out and shows them and then starts to kind of go about his day like he's frustrated about something, but then the first cop on his left just grabs a hold of him, and the second one gets him down as well. They're gonna get that gun away from him, and he's like, oh no, whatever have I done, and what has happened here? Uh, and, and if you notice here, uh, he's kind of trying to get away from them. Thankfully, they are gonna get him into cuffs, <clears throat> and again, get that gun away from him. Go read the news story. I've linked it in the description, a couple of them. And, and he says he found it. He says he didn't buy it, didn't, didn't uh, take it off of anybody, but found it. It had three rounds in it. He said he never fired it. Uh, and so he was charged with illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition and all this stuff. So he's facing a good bit of charges. None for brandishing or for aggravated assault, though. That's kind of interesting. He made a bad decision this day. I wonder if those off-duties watch the channel and they're like, man, we got to get in on some of this Brazil action here. I doubt it, but you know, it's a funny joke, right? Okay, so this is two off-duty cops who are hanging out here, okay? But but first of all, recognize that officers, when you're off-duty, you're not forced to do law enforcement things, right? You're not on duty. You're not being paid to do law enforcement things. So I'm gonna really kind of talk about this as a non-law enforcement officer. For us who are private citizens, just regular old good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people living their life, okay? And, and officers recognize when you're not being paid, when you're not on shift and doing your job, you can just be a private citizen too if you want to. You can be a good witness, call it in, get the heck away from the guy, whatever. These guys didn't, they got their badge on them and that's okay too, you know, you don't lose your commission when you go off duty, but you don't have to. Now, homie decides I'm gonna showcase a firearm. Why in the world would he do this? I think there's something here, maybe they didn't have what he wanted, maybe they asked him to leave, something like that. And so he brandishes that firearm. And, and listen, we see this all the time. People use that as an intimidation tool. They use that to get power. They use that to feel like they're in charge. And if one of these guys had drawn a gun and shot this guy dead, given that, again, that he is brandishing a firearm for the purpose of intimidation, that would have put them at fear that he was going to use it on them. And I think that that would have been a reasonable fear. <clears throat> so, so listen, if you see this happening, okay, fine. But I also want you to recognize, look at the both of them. The cop to, his, uh, to our right, his left, is on his phone. He can't see anything that's going on. The other guy is kind of just looking around. He's gonna see it a little bit sooner. So remember, attention buys you time, time buys you options. You might've just been able to get away from this guy or something like that. Instead, you'll see the officers both kind of eventually, they haven't seen him yet, and they do see the fact that he has a gun and they are gonna decide to do something about it. Now, I, I think here, again, should they have shot this guy instead of snatching him up? Well, the fact of the matter is here, I applaud these two off-duty officers. I think they saw, you know, that guy was just like, yo, what's up, I have one of these, you guys should treat me nice. And, and they're like, no, this little scrawny punk, I think I can take him. Now, is that an increased risk? Yeah, but they're the ones that were looking him in the eye. I'm not gonna second guess that. I think as he's leaving like this, I think that it gets a little more legally sketchy to shoot him in the back if he's not actively brandishing the gun. So I'm glad they did that. Now then, you notice here, they are going to work in tandem. And I think that that was excellent. Now, I, I think that's pretty rare. You're not often going to have a second off duty around you. And my guess is they were buddies, you know, going somewhere. Maybe they're on their way to work or maybe they're on their way off, off work. I don't know. But, but the point of the matter is they worked in tandem, right? So if you have an instance or a situation like this, you choose to step in, communicate well, work together, everybody take a job, always keep working, look for work to do and do it, right? And, and communicate to each other what it is they wanna do. I also wanna say here, it's pretty interesting as they start getting this guy into custody and start you know, looking through his pockets. This part, obviously, I don't think the average private citizen should do or would do. If he's walking off, let him walk off, call the cops, outsource your violence, let them do this. But notice that other people here, you see this guy kind of put his stuff up on the counter, you're gonna see a lady walk in and kind of do their thing. Uh, you see somebody getting shook down like this by the cops, man, get the heck out of there. If you're not gonna help, get away from this problem. Don't just sit there and see it happen. 
because this is where bad things sometimes come. He's gonna maybe, maybe he's gonna fight him. Maybe he's gonna create other problems. Maybe he's got another gun on him. Maybe he grabs one of their guns. I don't know, you don't wanna be in this danger zone, okay? I, I really do applaud these cops. I think this was an interesting lesson on, hey, what would we do to get involved? Should I just let him go? Should I just get away from him? Should I seek cover myself? I want you to think about that. Put yourself in their situation and ask, what would I do here to cover my ASP?